who's your poppy? And his poppy, from up there, may be proud. What is going on, guys? This is the Club of the Man, 1993. And this is episode number 247 of WWE Turn Alert. And I'm pretty sure we all have been waiting for this one for a long time. The suspense on this one has been teased for a long time. Especially since the Madison Square Garden episode of Raw. So first, before I go into the details, there's, there's a lot to talk about with this heel turn for Dominic Mysterio. Let me just, just start by saying this. There was a time where I thought that they were not going to turn Dominic heel. I thought, because I, I, I think I listened to an interview he had with Chris Van Valet, uh, the, the one interviewer on YouTube, and I got this vibe from him that he, when he talked about wrestling his dad, that I, I didn't think he wanted to, like, you know, wrestle his dad in a way where he was going to come across as he hated him. So I thought, what if someday they they do the match with Ray and Dominic, but it's more, it was kind of, it, it, it feels more like a Ric Flair and Shawn Michaels deal. Because the way they booked Ray throughout the year, especially, he, I mean, Ray being a babyface, pretty much, I think most of the time, WWE, except for, I think, I think he, he was a heel in, in, in like, what, Mexico or whatnot, before he went, to, he was WWE, like, I, like, years before he first came, debuted in WWE, I heard he was a heel. But he's been a babyface, like, full time ever since. So, with him being, like, that emotional person trying to play, like, you know, Peacemaker, like, you know, especially, like, you know, whenever he feels with, like, with, with, like, some Eddie, or, or Dave Batista, and, you know, a few others that have turned their back on him, I got that vibe that what if, like, you know, if, like, Ray versus Dominic was, was Ray's retirement match, and, like, you know, Dominic had the same story as, like, Shawn Michaels did when he took on Ric Flair. I thought they would go that route. The moment, though, Ray, Dominic de- had his debut match at SummerSlam in 2020 against Seth Rollins, the clock was ticking. I said, okay, when will they have that turn? We thought it would happen at WrestleMania when he when they, lo- he, they lost to The Miz. Um, I think you... I, I even thought they would... I thought... I thought the way they were going to build to that turn was originally when Buddy... That god-awful story with Buddy Murphy... And Aaliyah Mysterio being having an on-screen romance. Oh god, it was still so bad, so bad. I still get still cringing about the idea of an 18-year-old making out of the 31-year-old live TV, and it still grabbed me nuts. But Aaliyah's a grown woman, 21 years old now. You know, I don't know if I would have accepted it now. I don't know who knows. Who knows? Anyways, it was still weird as hell. But I thought whenever they had the thing where Buddy had turned had turned face, I thought they were going to do a story where. Where it looked like that Ray was more invested in Buddy Murphy than Dominic, and that would lead to Dominic's heel turn. Of course, they did nothing with Buddy Murphy until he got released, and it was back to you know, them, you know, just being, you know, father and son being tag team. They won the tag titles once on SmackDown for a few months, so they dropped them to the Usos. I can always say Usos, the Usos. And then, oh uh, man. When they announced Rey Mysterio's 20th anniversary celebration at Madison Square Garden, I really thought it was going to happen that night. You're sitting there watching that heartfelt promo race cut, and I'm just like, <gasps> like, I'm sitting there, I'm just like, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Like, I can't, it's, it's one of the moments where it's like, I can't look, or I, I, I can't think it was going to happen. I thought, of course, when they when they abducted Dominic in, at the backstage segment, like this is gonna be a sign. Okay, Dominic won't won't be won't be abducted, won't be showing up at SummerSlam, and he does. But then he turns on Ray. I thought it would happen there too. And then, of course, you know that that that, that whole match was all to bring back Edge. So then it leads to the story going into Sunday's match. First off, we had Dominic. Start getting a little bit heelish whenever he um he didn't uh, accept Edge's apology, and then he um and then of course you know even when Edge came back uh, and when they helped him on on the the go home show of Raw before Clash the Castle, um they kind of like you know Dominic was okay with him again. 
like kind of like you know, I'm like okay, he was okay with him. But then of course the whole story there was Ray picked Edge over Dominic because he needed the experience going up against the Judgment Day. To which of course, and then they put they said, "I need you in your cor- my, my corner, son." And Dominic went was in the corner. Now the th- here's the, the Nick Pick I'm going to do. Dominic did help them win. But I think the reason... So, so the fact that Judgment Day lost and now Dominic is with them. Of course, that wasn't clear to me until Raw this past week. Um, at first, it was like, why would Dominic want to be with, with, with losers? But then it was kind of like Dominic saying, Hey, you know, you want an experience. You know, I... Sh- you guys only won that match because of me. So now I'm joining the, the, the team that, that's going to actually value my experience. Or something like that. Like That could be the story there. Which that was what could have, of course, led to, you know, the turn. Now, I also thought it would be interesting. Is if, of course, they had Dominic fully turn by attacking Edge. But he wouldn't completely turn on Ray. Like, obviously, it showed that there's, like, the tension there and show that he is the heel, but that he's still, like, like he's, like, the, the, the big moment was him, is him putting his hands on his father. Which he did. And, yes, he's a full-blown heel now. He's with the Judgment Day, which he came out. Some people said he came out looking like, looking like, like an emo version of Tobey Maguire's P- Peter Parker, which was quite priceless. Um, but, of course, they... He basically just, he didn't get that physical with his father. He just clotheslined him at Clash of the Castle. And then he, um, he then whenever, um, whenever Ray was trying to walk past Dominic and not get involved with whatever was going on with, like, him and Edge, um, Ray, he shoved Ray back into, to, 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 to the cluster. He didn't, like, get that physical with his father, but, like, the worst is yet to come for Ray. So I love that build. But that's the whole, you know, behind the scenes fact. Dominic being a heel was needed. Again, don't get me wrong. He's a he's a great wrestler. You know, I, I think he's had great matches. The problem is, though, as a baby face, I still see him as Ray's kid. And he needs to be more than just Ray's kid. Well, Ray's son. Like, stop making him look like, you know, Ray. I mean, don't get me wrong. Ray Mysterio is a legend. Hall of Famer. But it's time that he starts looking like, like he legitimately belongs there. Like you know, he's got the wrestling. He needs a character though. He needs a character like an, and an element of his own, besides the fact that he's Rey Mysterio's son. Besides, he's the same kid that Ray and Eddie fought over custody for at SummerSlam 2005. Like the, he needs to be something a little bit more than that. And they, like a lot of people, you know, they come in as babyface wrestlers. They're awesome wrestlers, but they can't get a character from beating starting off as a babyface. Dominic is a heel, though. I think will help him find that character. Will light the fire in him like it did with AJ Styles. And that, you know, more, you know, um, you know, improved character of Dominic will lead to the eventual match at WrestleMania 39 in Hollywood. Father versus son. Which that will be an excellent match. And who knows? Maybe it'll still be the retirement match, except of course with, you know, more of a story behind it. But wait and see. But I'm intrigued. And I even like what we got on Raw. Like I said, it, it's it's strange though that he chose to team up with team up with losers, but he could be looking at it as, you know, oh, you know, Edge and and Ray couldn't win without my help. So of course Maybe he could be in addition to Judge Day because, you know, he made himself look good helping them win. But we'll wait and see. We will wait and see, of course, what happens. And because we'll talk about more about this when I get to my Raw review. But yep, that's my thoughts on Dominic Mysterio turning heel at Clash at the Castle. Teased so much lately, but it's finally happened. We have a heel Mysterio in WWE. So once again, guys, what's your thoughts on this? Make sure your thoughts down in the comment section below. Be sure, as always, to slap a like on the video and subscribe for more content on my channel. And follow me on Twitter as well, at DemandAirboy93. And as always, guys, please stay tuned for more. WWE Turn Alert.